Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on the Chanel fragrance range and I'm gonna be ranking all their different perfumes from best to worst in my opinion. As always, there'll be linked down below where you can get the Chanel perfumes all around the world, as well as to my detailed articles on the different Chanel ranges over on my blog. And if you are new here, then do check out my hundreds and hundreds of other videos going through entire ranges, new releases, different perfume notes. And if you're a regular, do give the video a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed. Cool, so Chanel is probably the most famous fragrance house. It's the one that um, sort where everyone knows even if you have no idea about perfume and Chanel number no. five is iconic and yeah, super, super famous. The Chanel Coco Mademoiselle fragrance is a worldwide best-selling fragrance. The amount of money that they put into their marketing campaigns, particularly around Christmas, is just crazy. You cannot get away from Chanel fragrances at Christmas. I used to work in a shop selling perfumes um, back when I was younger, and um, Chanel was very, very popular, particularly Coco Mademoiselle. And I was always quite surprised at the prices, and every year Chanel put their prices up as well. Well, if we take number five, for example, the smallest size is 71 pounds and the 100 mil is 136 pounds. It was less than 100, I think, back like 10 years ago when I was selling these, so definitely price inflation. And in my opinion, there are quite a few Chanel perfumes which are not worth the money and um, that are overpriced and not good value for money at all. So I really wanted to share with you my opinion on all their perfumes. I'm not including their exclusive like um, perfumes, the ones that come in like square bottles and um, there's like a lion one and they're only sold at some department stores and Chanel shops. They're 200 pounds each. I haven't tried them all and I'm not going to be buying them at 200 pounds each. Um, so this is all the mainstream um, normal Chanel fragrances that you can get in every shop that sells Chanel. Cool. So my number one one, um, that one that I like the best from Chanel and that I, you know, if I had to only have one, the one that I would get would actually be um, Chanel Gabrielle Essence. So this is the second version of Chanel Gabrielle and it's one of their more modern recent releases. It has Margot Robbie as the face of the fragrance. I love her. I think she's so, so beautiful. And the original Gabrielle, which had um, Kirsten Stewart as the face of the fragrance, I found to be quite light, quite boring, forgettable. The essence is definitely stronger, more concentrated, and has some better lasting notes in it. It is a classic white floral fragrance, jasmine, orange blossom, but it has a little bit of a coconut note in, which adds some warmth and adds some modernity. And it also has like a peach and red fruit opening note. So for me, this is more the type of fragrance that I'd expect to be released in the 2020s. Um, it's modern, it's the kind of thing that a lady of any age could wear, but it still feels modern and current while still being classy and traditional Chanel. And you know, if you're going to be paying over £100 for a perfume, you do want it to have some lasting power. The lasting power on this isn't amazing, like you can get better lasting perfumes for the same price, but it's much better than the original Gabrielle, which for me disappeared like within an hour, even though it's an eau de parfum. So my number one is Gabrielle Essence, and this is my the, my top pick from Chanel. Next is their bestseller, Coco Mademoiselle. There's a reason why this is the bestseller. Um, I have a 200 ml here, which is empty as you can see. I wore this fragrance when I was a teenager, um, the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum, and now my mum wears it as her signature scent. She has done it for a long time, and I can always smell it on her. It is really beautiful. The body lotions as well um, she uses, and they're really nice. They more recently released an intense version Version, and that's my top recommendation from the range. It's just a little bit more concentrated. It has a slightly fruitier vibe to it, just a little bit more interesting, but it's mainly the same as the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Toilette is a bit lighter. I wouldn't bother with the Eau de Toilette. I'd go for the Eau de Parfum or the intense version. They also have one called like Privé, which is marketed as a nighttime fragrance. 
It is really, really light and just disappears after no time at all. If you want a light version, I'd just get the Eau de Toilette. I wouldn't bother with that Privé one. And I do think the body products in Coco Mademoiselle are really lovely and are well perfumed. And if you wear them all and layer it, it does work really well. So I was umming and arming whether to put this first or second, but I think because Gabrielle Essence is a little bit newer. It's not as sort of famous and you know a lot of people have Coco Mamsel. I thought this is the one I want to recommend most because it's just a little bit different. So next on my list is the Chanel Chance Eau de Parfums. There are two Chanel Chance Eau de Parfums. The original Chanel Chance Eau de Parfum and then Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum. Um, I have Eau Tendre in the Eau de Toilette version here which I'll get to in a minute. The original Eau de Parfum of Chanel Chance is a musky patchouli. I know a few people who wear this as their signature scent and um, both of them actually bring it with them and top up during the day but I can always smell it around them, smell it on them. It does have a, a good projection, lasting power. You know, it does last, even though they both feel that um, they need to top it up throughout the day. And it's a classy scent um, and the patchouli isn't too heavy. It's not like a very like old fashioned patchouli. It's more musky and feminine. And then the Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum is a rose perfume. So this is really Chanel's rose fragrance. It's their answer to Miss Dior and Rose and Roses and the different Miss Dior roses. Um, so if you like rose the best, the best one is Chanel Tendre Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Toilette versions of Chanel Chance, which is original Chanel Chance Eau de Toilette, um, Eau V, Eau Fresh, Eau Tendre. They're all really light because they're Eau de Toilette. So they're the kind of thing that I think perhaps would work if you want to buy a Chanel perfume for quite a young person. Um, you want something quite innocent and pretty. I'd go for one of the Eau de Toilettes, but they do not really last very well. The best seller is the pink Eau Tendre one and it is really lovely and fresh. It's very clean smelling, innocent, pretty. It just doesn't really last. Um, there are a lot of different company body products that go with this that might help it last a bit. And I do have an in-depth video on all the different versions of Chanel Chance, so I'll leave that link down below. But personally, I think the Eau de Toilettes versions of Chanel Chance for the price are just not worth it. You're looking at best part of a hundred pounds and you can get the same scents for like 30 pounds from other brands. So next up, I wanted to mention the Coco fragrances. So you've got um, Chanel Coco and more recently their Coco Noir. These are both good for lasting. Um, even though they are quite traditional, old fashioned, cheaper fragrances. Coco Noir has a little bit more spiciness to it. It's a little bit more interesting, whereas original Coco is just that classic cheaper. It's been around for a long time. Um, it's kind of a, reminds me of a typical 80s fragrance, like original opium, that type of vibe. But I did want to leave them higher up in this list because they do have strength and lasting power. And the same is said for Chanel 19, which is kind of their signature green fragrance. There aren't very many perfumes that are just really, really green, like grass, leaves, trees. It's all of those green notes in one and the Eau de Parfum is strong. And I know that people that love green fragrances all have Chanel 19 and repurchase it again and again and again. So it is a good fragrance if you love your deep green fragrances. So next we have Chanel number no. five. Now, despite all the advertising on Chanel number no. five, I'm still not sure how well this sells. It is an aldehyde perfume, which kind of has quite a chemically um, feel to it. For me, it smells quite dated and old fashioned, even though it has been reformulated a lot over the years. And they have all these different versions of it now, Eau Premier, uh, number no. five low, I wouldn't bother with any of them. If you do like aldehydes, then I'd just stick with the original Chanel number no. five Eau de Parfum. But personally, I think the scent is dated and is not a modern fragrance. I, you don't see aldehyde perfumes being released by any brand. So next up, we have the Allure fragrances. I think Allure Sensual, Sensual is, is better than original Allure. Sensual is another um, sort of spicy patchouli, a bit like cocoa, to be honest. Again, for me, it's quite a dated scent, but 
um, it is does have some lasting power it's not quite as strong as cocoa or coco noir um, but if you like your deep patchouli fragrances allure sensual is the one and then the allure perfume is fruity citrus it's the kind of thing that perhaps you'd wear in the summertime if you wear one of the other like classic chanel perfumes in the winter you might want allure in the summer just to add some like fresh citrus notes there's some peach in there orange blossom but for me i find it's very very light it doesn't really last and so i don't recommend it you can get fresh orange blossom perfumes like all over the place now i have a whole article on the best orange blossom perfumes like ellie Saab, which are more affordable than chanel allure and then we've got the chanel cristal fragrances so the edp is a heavy oak moss so very again traditional mossy slightly green very earthy dated fragrance if, in my opinion that they have a version called cristal overt which is um totally different and has a greenness to it but also also um, a lot of citrus notes quite lemony when you first spray it you get this green lemony fresh feeling which is really nice but 20 minutes later there's nothing there so it's a very expensive citrus fragrance um, you'd be better off just getting any other citrus fragrance I'm afraid pretty much all the eau de toilettes I find from Chanel are not very good for for lasting at all um perhaps the coco mamazelle eau de toilette and the number five eau de toilette are a bit better but a lot of them particularly the older ones are just not great and the chanel chance eau de toilettes i i wouldn't bother with really unless you do want something really really light i have to say personally i'm a little bit worried about chanel i think their branding and everything i'm not sure that they're as exciting as dior who i think are their main competitor um the dior and the miss dior fragrance and the Jador fragrances are better and prettier branding and I think the same with the fashion and the handbags I just think in my view Dior is getting better than Chanel um, so I think they definitely need like a rebrand and to release some better perfumes um, in my opinion but you know they they still sell very very well and the coco mademoiselle is a good fragrance as is my gabrielle essence so guys let me know what your favorites are i'm sure lots of people will love some of the ones that i've put at the bottom of this list everyone is different we can't all like the same perfumes um so let me know what your favorites and least favorites are in the comments i do read all your comments and like i said links in the description to my more detailed articles and videos on the Chanel perfumes as well as where you can get them and where you can get my fragrances which are amazing for lasting um, and my soy wax intense candles as well I unlike Chanel really focus on making and perfumes that really last but yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye